Okay. Okay. Welcome, friends. This is the 10th annual Peace Fair. And most of us that are here are the energetic and imaginative people that have put this together. Where's Kathy and Susie and Christine and Joe? They and I are the committee that organized the fair, and the rest of you have come together in the most wonderful way to make it happen today. Thank you all so very much. <laughs> this fair originated with Christine Detroit 10 years ago. Yes. And <laughs> and it's been a family Detroit family collaboration ever since. I want to take just a minute to honor Christine and thank her for creating this event for us and for being a, a, a center place for all of us. Thank you. You are a peacemaker. Thank you. Let us also remember the original impetus of the fair, which was to commemorate the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, which happened at about this time of year, um, and we want to be sure that we don't let that be forgotten, that everything we do uh, lead us to a kind of wisdom that prevents it from ever happening again. Maybe today can be part of that learning of how to make sure that we can become a cooperative and nonviolent community, uh, world for that matter. We're going to be joined a little later today by Philip Hoos. I always want to say his name, Hoos. I'm sure he oh, says Hoos. Yes, thank you. Um, he has spelled it with two O's, which always yeah. throws me. <laughs> and he's written wonderful books, prize-winning books, about youth activism. And he's going to be here later today. One of his books is called, Miles, It's Our World Too. And we are going to let the, these people open the fair today, uh, young activists, who will say who they are and why they're activists and what project they're working on. Let's start with you, Miles. Oh, hello, everybody. Uh, so most people in the organizing world know me as Miles. Um, my first name is Matthew. I am a senior at Bowdoin College, just like the street. Um, the work that I do uh, often involves climate. I'm a climate organizer. Um, uh, uh, right now, my project is fossil fuel investment, um, which is the selling of the sort of, um, immoral investments in the fossil fuel industry that is destroying my future and the future of uh, future generations. Um, yeah, I work a lot with 350 Maine and 350.org, and I'm grateful to be have this opportunity to share my experiences all with you. So, yeah. Thank you, Clara. Hi, I'm Clara. Um, I also go to Bowdoin. I'm going to be a sophomore. Uh, mostly work with Matt here, also on climate issues. Um, and I think it's really important to be an activist because there's so many things that if you don't pressure people to change, will never change. Brianna? Hi, I'm Brianna. I am a senior at Morse High School. I'm an activist because I believe everyone deserves equal rights and the equal opportunities. And um, <laughs> I'm planning a Random Acts of Kindness Day in my hometown on August 16th, which I want everyone to come to. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm planning it with Taylor, who will introduce herself. Okay. And Dana, who is responsible for getting us out on Facebook. Yeah, true. Um, I'm Dana Freshly. Um, I, I love activism because I just, I don't see any other way to live besides fighting for what you believe in. So um, what I'm involved in is um, gender equality. So I, I was the president of the Student Women's Association at UE. Um, I'm Taylor. I'm also a senior at Morris High School. Um, I'm an activist because I'm passionate about human rights, and I believe that everybody deserves kindness. And um, there's more information about Random Access Times Day at the Gazebo, where we will be. And come support the Blue Scarf Movement at the Gazebo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luke. I live in Freiburg, Maine. And I am here to, um, to um, tell people about how um, to defend our water rights and security for future generations and for the 
world's future in general. Hi, I'm Marina McKinnon. I'm a junior at Brunswick High School. This is my sister, Jada McKinnon. Um, we started the pro a Safe Water for Guatemala Youth Project, where we'll be bringing water filters down to Guatemala, and we're using um, the dolls over there that you might see at the tent as teaching tools about safe water. So we leave on Tuesday to go to Guatemala and distribute the water filters. And I, we didn't give them much chance to talk about their work right now, but each one of them has a blue bracelet from the Blue Scarf Project, so you can identify them and, and seek them out sometime during the day. Thank you guys very much. And now I'm going to introduce Tessa Hayes, who's going to present this year's um, Peacemaker Award. She represents Peace Jam. Uh, she doesn't at all. She... <laughs> Art Bam. <laughs> no, it doesn't hurt to get Peace Jam a word in. Oh. Tessa Hayes represents Art Band, who received the award last year, and that's our tradition, is last year's award winner, um, presents this year. So, Tessa, thank you. Um, so, um, as an Art Band rep, I'm honored to present the Peacemaker Award um, to the Veterans for Peace. Um, others from that grim reality and to shift our culture of violence to one rooted instead in cooperation. We are in awe of what they have suffered and proud of their willingness to speak out in support of nonviolence. Thank you. Um, the Veterans for Peace was founded in Maine in 1985 by a group of veterans troubled by the militancy of the United States and its violent intervention in the affairs of other nations. They are an educational and humanitarian organization dedicated to the abolishment of war. Um, part of their mission statement is um, the Maine Veterans for Peace will work with others toward increasing public awareness of the true cost of war to restrain our government from intervening overtly and covertly in the internal affairs of other nations and to end the arms race and to reduce and eventually elim eliminate nuclear weapons to abolish war as an instrument of national policy. It's a lofty job. <laughs> um, Always their goal is to change public opinion in the United States from one of unsustainable cultural of militarism and commercialism to one of peace, democracy, and sustainability. Their work is done primarily through grassroots organizing and education at the local level. Um, and as an art band um, community activist, I can really appreciate that grassroots movement, as I think all of this community can. So it's my pleasure to present this 2014 Peacemaker Award to me. On behalf, on behalf of our chapter 001, we are very grateful to PeaceWorks uh, for this award, but more importantly for this whole peace fair. I want to say about the Veterans for Peace, it was created here in Maine, actually started with five people meeting in Auburn inside of a Denny's in 1985. And for many years the national office was here in Maine, today it's located in St. Louis, and there are now hundreds of chapters all over the country and including chapters in South Korea and England and Vietnam. So Veterans for Peace, uh, having started in Maine, is growing around the world. We're very grateful. Thank you all very much. We're here to build a world in which all children can thrive. We know it's possible, 
And we know it needs to be one step at a time, but I think today we'll have hundreds of steps taken. Thank you all very much. Please stand again.